report out a moment ago from Axios uh, that Secretary Blinken has ordered staff to prepare policy plans for a Palestinian state after the war in Gaza, and that this signals a policy shift in the administration. Do you have a comment on that? So there has been no policy shift in the administration. We have made quite clear publicly that we support the establishment of an independent independent Palestinian state. That's been the policy of the United States for some time. It has been the policy of this administration. You've seen the Secretary speak about it uh, publicly. I'm not going to comment on the internal work that we do to advance that objective, but I will say that there are any number of ways that you could go about accomplishing that. There are any number of sequencing of events that you could carry out to accomplish that objective. And we look at a wide range of options, and we discuss those with um, partners in the region, as well as other partners inside the United States government. Um, but there has been no policy change. But presumably, I, I guess policy planning would have contingency plans in the works that would include a Palestinian state. I mean, is there something new? Was there a new, can you tell us if the secretary issued like a new directive? So uh, what I will say is yes, we support the establishment of an independent Palestinian state and we do a lot of work inside the government to uh, think about how to bring that about. And you see us talk about that work publicly when we're in the region, talk about it sometimes here. And as part of that work, obviously, we look at any number of options. That's part of the normal planning process. Uh, the vast majority of options never usually get implemented because we took, take things, uh, we put things on the drawing board and figure out what will work, what will be effective, and how best to sequence it. Um, so I won't get into that underlying policy planning process that we go about. Um, but yes, we are actively pursuing the establishment of an independent Palestinian state with real security guarantees for Israel because we do believe that is the best way to bring about lasting peace and security for Israel, for Palestinians, and for the region. Sorry, can I, can I just, yeah. Just to put a little context in that, on this, uh, hasn't the State Department been looking at what it would take to create a Palestinian state since the Clinton administration? Uh, at Maybe least, with at, the exception at, of at, the four years of at, the Trump administration. I would say at least that long. Yes, correct. <laughs> My, okay. my history only goes back nine months, but yes, it has been the long-standing well, uh, position back, of, of the United States. 20, 20 right. or so years. Hasn't, ha hasn't this always been? I feel like you're asking me leading questions, Matt, but yes, the, an the answer is yes. I will, the, okay. the witness will so, be appropriately so led. If, <laughs> if this report were to be true, it is it basically just a continuation of, of, of what has been going on, with the exception of maybe the four years when when Trump was president. So without confirming a specific report, I will say that, yes, we do have ongoing policy planning processes about how best to advance the establishment of an independent and, and, Palestinian and, and, state. And is it not correct that, that the, all of the diplomatic efforts that are going into, including a potential secretary return to uh, the Middle East, are, are heavily focused on day after and 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 long-term stability and security for the region, which you believe would include a Palestinian state? Uh, among other things, very, sure very, very much so. Okay. Yeah, Thanks. very much so. Uh, question 